Hey guys, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how you can perform a clean install of Windows 10 from scratch. In order for us to proceed with the installation, we need to take care of a few things. First is the Windows 10 installation media. You can use DVD or USB flash drive to store the Windows 10 installation files and from there you can proceed with booting from the DVD or the USB flash drive and install your Windows. In order for us to do that, we'll need to take care of the priority which is um, within the BIOS of the system or easily use the boot menu to boot one time only from the media that you chose. After that, we'll take care of the disk partitioning and you need to consider a few things about that uh, regarding the space of the boot partition and other partitions that you are going to use for storing your data files. I will show you how you can create a new system boot partition and I'm going to show you how you can format that boot partition. In the end we are going to check the post install customization and how you can customize your windows the way you like it. So let's dig in to the demonstration. Ok, in my first steps I'm going to show you how you can change the boot priority from the BIOS. In two words, the BIOS is a chip that is located on all motherboards that allows you to access and set up your computer system at the most basic level. So let's check that. I don't recommend changing settings in the BIOS if you are um, a beginner because that could lead into corruption and uh, it's not a good thing. So you need to use the left and right arrow keys to select the boot menu option on the top and after that you will be able to see all the boot options uh, below. Here you need to use the up and down arrow keys to move between the selections and it depends on the um, removable media that you chose to install Windows from. I currently in my demonstration I will use um, um, CD-ROM drive so I'm going to set the CD-ROM drive with the plus sign on the top of the list so that it will boot directly from the CD-ROM. After that I'm going to use the right arrow key once again and I'm going to exit and save the changes by pressing enter. Then yes. Okay. The other thing that I would like to show you is the boot menu. I would really recommend every beginner to use this boot menu instead of the BIOS so it can minimize the risk um, for the computer. From here you have the options to boot one time only from a specific device. So on the next reboot it will basically use the priority list which is specified within the BIOS and will not make any changes to your system. So in this case I'm going to choose the first option which is the CD-ROM drive. Basically the boot menu uh, can be accessed during um, boot up of the computer by pressing uh, a specific key. It depends on the make and the model of the system. Um, in your vendor's page you will be able to see what is the specific key that you need to press in order to access the boot menu. So here I'm going to choose the CD-ROM drive and it's going to load my Windows pre-installation installation environment. Okay, so the first window that you will see here is pretty much straightforward. You will have to choose your language, it depends on the language that you are using and uh, what is the time and currency format and what would be the keyboard or input method to use. I will just stick with the uh, default ones and we'll click next. Here on the second window you'll be able to see um, if you already have an installation of Windows um, you'll be able to repair your computer from here. This one I have a pretty um, clean hard drive so I'll just go ahead and click install now and 
it will load up the drivers and the needed configuration files in order for me to start the installation. Okay, um, so in this case I'm using an evaluation copy of Windows, but if you have uh, already have your Windows 10, um, it should probably go with uh, product key. Um, here you can input the product key. In my case, I will uh, click. I don't have a product key at the moment. Of course, you can. If you already, if you have a product key, you can install without adding it here, and after that, you can add it within the operating system. So that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So the next step is the license terms of course we need to agree that click on the tick box and click next and here we'll have two options basically the first one is the upgrade uh, if you have already um, an installation of windows basically you'll have to see what are the prerequisites uh, but uh, you have to uh, you need um, if i remember correctly uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 8 and from here you can upgrade um, pretty much cleanly without the need or without losing any data but in my case um, as I said before I have um, one hard drive which is clean which is a new hard drive so I'll proceed with custom install okay guys so here we have the um, disk that I've told you it's a 60 gigabyte disk and uh, the space on it is unallocated so what does that mean is that we don't have any partitioning on this drive it's clean it's brand new so in most cases you will probably see some partitions uh, basically when you create uh, and when you install Windows it creates a small partition for the operating system to use and that's an automatic one and basically it will create another bigger partition or you will create one with uh, the operating system files from there you can create additional partitions it depends on the size of the hard drive but basically you can create additional partitions with data uh, your data so be careful guys uh, here um, if you click format or if you click delete you will erase all of your data so be careful with that window here in my case I will have to click new and I will use all the size for this uh, disk so basically I would say that um, with newer operating systems um, the size on the disk, the operating uh, disk, it uh, really really depends on the usage of your Windows. If you install software on the same disk as the operating system, I would really recommend to be larger than 100 gigabytes because Microsoft are releasing uh, a lot of updates and that can fill up your disk quite fast and yeah, from there you will have to think of another solution so in this case I'll click apply okay so that's this is the step that uh, is asking me and it's telling me that uh, Microsoft will create additional partitions for system files which I would accept so you will see now that is drive 0 partition 1 is reserved for the system and it's basically 500 megabytes Windows can be installed on this on this one we can see the de details this partition is too small make the size of this partition at least almost 9 gigabytes so yeah that's the minimum size but I would recommend more than that in this case I will use partition 2 which is our primary partition I can see that I have almost 60 gigabytes there and uh, yeah basically what I'll do next you can click next and it will basically format it but I will do a format just in case important applications just to show you how how this works uh, it will say that it will format and all of the information will be gone so yeah be, be careful with that 
okay so after disk is uh, formatted of, of course I can delete that I can create another partition but I can click next and basically it will start copying the files and most of the installation is pretty much done I will uh, pause this video until the installation is done and we'll continue there so um, yeah we can um, we can make this shorter then the files are done already and it's currently going to install some updates after that it will basically finish up and will ask me for to restart the PC what I'll have to do is this time when it asks you to boot from CD you will have to um, basically it will ask you to click a button to boot from CD well I'll leave that behind so it won't do it I can restart now okay okay here it's asking me to boot from CD I don't want to boot from CD so basically this time it will go ahead and just boot directly from my hard drive where I have a fresh installed copy of Windows 10 so let's move on and finish the last steps of installing the Windows okay it's going to install some additional drivers that will uh, be used uh, by my devices that are connected like keyboards mouse and uh, um, keyboard mouse and of course um, any sound drivers any video drivers uh, which um, yeah it's a thing that you will need to consider after reinstalling or installing a fresh copy of Windows 10 basically most of the vendor nowadays they um, provide with uh, provide you with the drivers on a CD or just uh, provide you with a link uh, from where you can download uh, the the content from their websites and just install the drivers for better performance and I really recommend doing that after installing a fresh copy okay so um, from here we can just go ahead and just use the express settings to uh, finish the configuration of uh, our Windows 10 uh, or you can go ahead with customize settings in this course uh, as this is a beginner course I will use the express settings but from here you can customize your accounts so you can customize your look uh, basically you have a lot of options that you can choose from but for uh, this one I'll just go ahead and use the express settings in this step you will be asked to specify who owns this PC and if your PC or a laptop is a part of organization you can choose the top option and on the other hand if you are using your personal uh, laptop or a PC you can go with the bottom option in this case I can I will go with I own it and click next in the next step you will see uh, two fields which are asking you for your Microsoft account uh, when you enter your account it will link your Microsoft account with your operating system and will provide you with some additional features that are included in Windows 8 and above and with Windows 10 so if you don't have a, an account you can create one or in my case I will just skip this step and the next step will ask me to make a local account on the PC so I will choose Nick NLP the password section is optional you can go ahead without it but I would recommend doing that because it will be more secure even if you are using your own personal laptop or a PC 
uh, and if it gets stolen um, your data will be more secure that way so let me write down a password and click next so basically we are done the final customizations uh, are already done and we configured everything so Windows will finish up, will wrap up all the things that we specified uh, beforehand and will allow me to log in and use my operating system in few moments. Okay, the configurations are done and we can go ahead and use our new freshly built Windows 10 operating system. Well, that's that wrap ups our video and if you like it, press the like button. If you dislike it, press the dislike button of course. You can leave your comments below in the section and I will try to answer them. If I missed something, you can specify that in a comment. I will try to add it in a future video. And if you like my videos, you can subscribe. So um, next I'll release a video of installing Windows Server 2012 R2, which will be more advanced and will take more additional IT skills to do. I want to thank you for viewing and see you soon.